A Jacksonville Beach institution for more than a century could be shutting down. The American Red Cross Volunteer Life Saving Corps has provided Jack's Beach lifeguard training and volunteers on Sundays and holidays for years. Now a dispute over labor laws could bring the iconic institution to an end. News for Jack's reporter N. Maxwell joins us live from City Hall where supporters of the Corps are hoping to convince city leaders to save it. And Mary, it's standing room only inside here at City Hall tonight. Now, the city is involved because the lifeguards who watch the beaches from Monday to Saturday are city employees. But many of them are also volunteers with the Corps, working for free on Sundays and holidays. After getting sued, the city said that's not going to work anymore. That's according to the Corps' board president. He says if city council doesn't accept their proposal to keep the paid lifeguards from also volunteering, the Corps is going to have to be dissolved. There's a lot of history here. Since 1912. A lot of sacrifice. This land has been home to the American Red Cross Volunteer Life Saving Corps. Charles Bond became a volunteer lifeguard here when he was 16. There's me. Decades later, he's still involved as the president of the board of directors. The Corps has been the most amazing thing in my life and many people's lives. He says the Corps teaches valuable lessons about responsibility, service, and teamwork. There are people from all walks of life, all different ages and for whatever reason we're drawn to this place to, to give back to our community. It's a storied organization that draws in some volunteers for life, like George Pa. This man's an icon around here. <laughs> he really is. Jack's Beach lifeguards have saved countless lives, and Pa says the Corps benefits not just beachgoers, but the volunteers themselves. I mean, it literally saves a bunch of kids that were headed the wrong way and got in here, and the di discipline and the camaraderie. But that 110-year legacy could be coming to an end. I think sad is probably an understatement. A former Jack's Beach lifeguard filed a lawsuit against the city in 2021, claiming he had no choice but to join the court to become a lifeguard, which meant he also had to volunteer, working without pay on Sundays and holidays. He claimed he was fired for complaining about it. Bond says Jack Speech lifeguards don't have to be members of the Corps, but about 60% of them are. There's no threat of being fired or demoted or not getting your paycheck, right? We have to motivate young men and women to come down here because they want to. Bond says the Corps has tried to work with the city to keep the volunteer organization alive, offering to keep volunteers and paid city employees separate, with the Corps continuing to provide volunteers to work Sundays and holidays. I'm still fighting this because I love it. I love this place. For me, it's a sad day. It really is. It just breaks my heart. An organization that saved lives for 110 years, now fighting for its own survival. Now we've reached out to the city multiple times today for comment, but have not yet heard back. We also reached out to the attorney representing that former lifeguard who filed the suit to get their side of the story, but also have not heard back. Uh, Bond tells me if the Life Saving Corps does not provide volunteer services for a year, It'll be dissolved. We've got another crew inside covering this meeting tonight. We'll have an update for you tonight at 10 and 11. Live at Jacksonville Beach and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.